1.1 Imperial Measures of Length While the metric system is the official system of measurements in Canada, there are a lot of places where the imperial system is still used, so it's important that you know it. The imperial system uses three main measurements of length. We've got the inch, the foot, the yard, and the mile. We've got abbreviations right there, inch, foot, yard, and mile. It's important that when you look at the abbreviation for mile, that it's MI. If you just put an M, that stands for meters, not miles. As some reference, an inch is about the length of the first knuckle of your thumb. A foot is about the length of your foot, and there are 12 inches in a foot. A yard is about the span of your one of your arms, not both, one of your arms. There are three feet in a yard and 36 inches in a yard. And a mile is the distance you can walk in 20 minutes. A mile is 1,760 yards or 5,280 feet. Each of these units does not have a consistent conversion to another unit. You'll notice one, there's 12 inches in a foot, there's three feet in a yard, there's 1,760 yards in a mile. It's not consistent like the metric system. Now, if you're interested, you can go look it up. Every one of those conversions has a story behind it and a reason for why it is what it is. It's interesting, but outside the scope of this lesson. We're going to work through these and help you get used to converting between one and the other. Just a couple little notes. We've got some shortcuts we use for inches and feet because they're often used, especially in the construction industry. Inches, if I want to say five inches, my short form is to put two little ticks. If I want to say five feet, I put a single tick. That's the short form for inches and feet. We don't have a short form like that for yards or miles. Another thing that's really good to know is your 12 times table. This makes converting between inches and feet a lot simpler if you happen to have these times tables memorized and more. Let's go through some conversions. First question, we want to convert seven yards to A feet and then B inches. So it's important to know your conversion factors. When I'm looking at feet and yards, I know that one yard equals three feet. So in order to convert from yards to feet, I'm going to take my seven yards, and because there's three feet in a yard, I'm going to times that by three feet per yard. When I multiply them together, I've got 21 feet. Or if I want to use the short form, I can write it as 21 feet. Either is acceptable, but if you're going to use the tick mark, make sure it's clear. If I want to convert seven yards to inches, my conversion factor is one yard equals 36 inches. I end up going through the same process. I've got seven yards times that by 36 inches per yard. Multiply those together, that gives me 252 inches. Or if you want to write it the short way, 252 inches. And there is my correct answer. Now this question is a little more complicated. It says convert 107 inches to feet and inches. Now what it's not asking you to do is to convert it to feet and then do a separate conversion to inches. We're going to convert it to a mixture of feet and inches as one entire answer. So essentially, we're going to convert 107 inches into feet, and whatever the remainder is will stay as inches. Because if you know your 12 times table, you know 12 does not divide nicely into 107. Let's get to that. Start with your conversion factor. One foot equals 12 inches. So if I have 107 inches, and I want to know how many feet are in that, I'm going to check how many times does 12 go into 107 nicely. Once again, this is easy if you know your 12 times table. But if you don't, we're going to take that. We're going to dwell, divide it by 12, because there's 12 inches in a foot. Let's do that division. 107 divide by 12. So I have 8.916 repeating. When we're converting to feet and inches, we don't want any decimals. So it goes in 8 times. It almost goes in 9 times. So we've almost got 9 feet. But this almost piece, this 0.916 repeating, we have to convert back into inches. So how I like to do that? 12 times 8 equals 96 inches. So if I take all of my even numbers of 12 out, I've got, I've got 107 inches minus 96 inches, which leaves me with 11 inches left over. This 11 right here is the remainder. When we divided 107 by 12, we got 8 with a remainder of 11. So that makes our final answer, makes our final answer 8 feet and 11 inches. Or if you write it the short form, 8 foot 11. There's my final answer. I write some notes on the process. We start with the conversion factors. Next, we found out how many complete feet there were in our inches.
And lastly, once we took out those complete feet, we were looking for how many inches were remaining. There is a way to do this all on your calculator. Let me go through that. If I have 107 inches and I divide by 12, I get 8.9. I'm going to subtract the 8 from there. There's my remainder. And if I've got 12 inches per foot, I would times that by 12 because that was the conversion factor we used earlier. There's my remainder. 8, remainder 11. Part B of the question asks us to convert 107 inches to yards, feet, and inches. Once again, this is not asking me to do three separate questions. It wants me to take that 107 inches and break it down into how many full yards, how many full feet, and how many remaining inches. Let's start with our conversion charts. One yard equals three feet. I could also use one yard equals 36 inches, but this time I'm not going to use that. And the other one I need is one foot equals 12 inches. In part A, we already figured out how many feet and inches of that is. I've got eight feet and 11 inches. Now when I look at it, eight feet can actually be converted up to yards. So we're only gonna have to worry about that feet to yards piece. We don't have a full yard in, those, in that inches piece. It's only going to be feet to yards. So we're going to go through the same process. How many full yards are in that eight feet? So if I do eight feet divided by three yards per foot, I end up with 2.6 repeating. So that means I've got two full yards. In fact, I can even go so far as to start writing it down. I've got two yards, some feet, and 11 inches. Okay, now let's go back and figure out what that remainder is. Two yards equals two times three equals six feet. So my remainder, I'm going to take the eight feet that I started with, subtract off the six feet that we converted up into yards. I'm left with two feet. So my end answer is two yards, two feet, and 11 inches. There's my final conversion. As a side note, as soon as we get yards in there, we can't use our shortcut for writing it down. I cannot write two yards, two feet, and 11 inches. That's just not a way that's used. You do not mix those two styles. 